What is up, YouTube? It's your girl Miranda here, and welcome to a special episode of Baldur's Gate 3. So in this episode, we do Shadow Hearts Quest, where we run into a character voiced by someone uh, who I very much look up to. Uh, so we run into Nocturne, who is played by Abigail Thorne. Uh, you probably you already knew that. You saw the th you, th you saw the title in the thumbnail. So. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really special episode for me, and it really means a lot to me. That's, uh, you know, fellow trans creator, one that I look up to uh, on this platform and uh, has made some art that has really resonated with me. Um, is in one of my favorite games and uh, it's really cool. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at that because if I keep talking, I'm just gonna keep gushing. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you do, make sure you leave me a like or a comment. And if you want to watch more of my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day and we'll catch you all next time. Bye. I think this was my favorite part, putting these on, pretending to be someone else. I suppose that's been my whole life. That's a mood. I I would I would prefer to not fight Viconia because I do like I mean despite the fact that she's They evil. already heard how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah. How she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But Perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact. I need and I it. And at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family and now you have turned your back on it the artifact was your last chance to prove yourself and you squandered it why is the artifact so important to you whispers reached my ears from all corners potential rivals of lady shah all vying for the same prize a new god amassing the disaffected the outcasts those who should turn to us this absolute is but an upstart, disturbing the natural order and threatening to impede the glorious return of Lady Shah's pure, endless darkness. I had to act. I had to strangle that foul conspiracy while it was still in the cradle. We learned all we could. The artifact was the one thing the absolutists feared. The one thing they desperately wanted to keep out of their enemy's grasp. I had to have it. Shar bid you do all this? Lady Shar's concerns lie elsewhere. With another. But she is a goddess. She can afford to ignore that which does not threaten her. I must keep her faith alive in mortal hearts. I must defend her ways, lead her children, stop all threats. Even if I must go against her wishes, I will prove myself her most loyal servant. So you admit you're going against your Shah own goddess's care. wishes. She was always going to use you and discard you. But now I'm going to deal with you first. You there! Surrender this one to me now, and you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies. Well, that's not gonna happen. To come. I mean, despite my fondness for you from previous games, um, this character has no connection to those games, um, has no loyalty to Viconia, and all my loyalty lies with Shadowheart because she is cool and I like her. Um, never! As you like. Lilala! For sure! I guess we're fighting. Oh my god, do it! <laughs> Fuck it. Conjure the goddamn hell! Cast the spell! What are you doing? Oh my god. Cast the spell! What are you do- Oh my god. So I guess I can't cast it. Alright, cool. Target it there. Can't target it. Oh, this darkness is... This darkness is ruining my life right now. Oh shit, I forgot. 
I forgot they reflect damage from radiance. Whoops. <laughs> oh no, Gale. Why? Uh, no. No. What the fuck? There's so much damage. I was really hoping Gale was gonna get another turn. And now he's dead. And there goes the fire elemental. What? She skipped her turn. Oh, it's because of the. Well, okay. So this is over. Um, all right. Um, I have so I have uh I have a couple ideas. I think path is interrupted. Oh my god. Okay. Well, you can just stay on your ass. Uh, so let's go with a chain lightning. Step into my insect plague. No, you're supposed to step into the insect plague. <laughs> can I fly over there? Oh, I sure can. Yo, Hope let's go. Well. Uh, I don't need to paralyze you. I can just kill you instead. Oh my god, I didn't realize- Ugh. Well, there goes the cloud kill. It's still- it's still letting me do it though. It, it's still letting me do it. <laughs> Alright, kill you. All right, well, Gale actually did some work this time, so we're, we're fine. We're probably winning this, this attempt. Kill you. Got her. What do you do? What? Stop. Don't walk into the insect plague. Finish it. Send me to Lady Shah's embrace. She still has answers I need. Yeah. All right, make it quick. My parents. Where are they? So blunt. Have you forgotten all the interrogation techniques I taught you? Where is the finesse? Answer me! They are right through that door in the Chamber of Loss. Where they have been all along. Oh, no. You saw them many times only we made you forget but they didn't forget they watched as we molded you they watched they wept they bled often at your hand it may not be a happy reunion but it will be a memorable one such cruelty why why me why all this effort? Lady Shah commanded me, and I obeyed. I do not question. I merely act as she Maybe wills me to. Maybe you should have questioned. I had an enclave in Waterdeep, you know. Much grander than this. Shah ordered me to raise it. Kill all who followed me. Claim they betrayed me. When in fact, I slew those who showed nothing but loyalty. You know, I think Shark kind of sucks. Do <laughs> and I did. To cover my tracks. To usher in you. What are At you what point do you about? like be like, hmm, you maybe the god I'm following kind of sucks. <laughs> to take a child of Salunas and turn her over to Lady Shah. To show that all light fades and darkness will prevail in the end. All this was to make you into what the Dark Lady needed you to be. The planning, the training, those deaths in Waterdeep. 
It was all to groom you to replace me at her right hand side. And still you threw it away. Are you expecting sympathy? Sympathy is for the weak. I merely wanted to say my piece. I wanted her to know the cost of her education. Now, do what you will. What do you want to do, Shadowheart? I want to see my parents. And I don't care what happens to this one. She's been in my head long enough already. Do what you like. I know you'll choose well. What are you doing? Come back and finish this Look yourself. at you, Shadowheart, with your character you Grove. That. Let go, mother. Embrace loss. Ooh, parroting her words back to her. Wow, I'm so proud of you, Shadowheart. Go. If you're wise, you'll vanish. Carl, like a brute. <gasps> I... Uh, I'm adept at it. I already stole all your stuff, so... Okay, bye-bye. We massacred everyone else, but you get spared. <laughs> um, hello, Nocturne. Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay It's Abigail Thorne! Please clap. Road feels endless Winding through the night Searching for answers Running out of time With every step I take The hill gets high I'm chasing shadows That seem to inspire I come mountains cross It's me, Nocturne Do you remember? Remind me? I knew she we, was in this game. We trained together. We used to be close. That's Abigail Thorne, otherwise known right. as Philosophy Tube. I don't remember. I made a whole video about her. Well, it oh. wasn't really about her, but you know, she fe Pity. featured prominently in it. Perhaps we can talk some more later. That is, it's if breaking you're not about my to immersion. Turn on me. <laughs> when there's someone I know who's in this game. <laughs> in the dark lady's shadow. I don't like know her, know her. I just I know I know her work. I'm gonna let Shadowheart end this. Shah condemned me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You may not remember, but we shared a lot together once. Good times. Hard times. I will not turn on you, even if it angers Lady Shah. That's good enough for me. Yay. I would hate to have I'm to kill sure uh, Abby's I character. To to <laughs> I would hate that. Certainly not as a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are. But with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there Why don't you me? come to my camp? We can be friends. You we don't can... need Shaw. We can all be friends you together. You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. I was working as quartermaster. I can sell you some things to aid you. And we can catch up. I would love that. Let's talk to let's talk to Abigail Thorne. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew she was in the game. Like this is like not a surprise. Uh, for some reason, I thought she was going to play Zariel, uh, because I remember she tweeted out. Uh, she was saying like, oh, I played like this, like sexy demon. Um, and you know, this character is undeniably sexy, you know, very sexy voice, uh, but tieflings are not demons. They are, uh, you know, descended from, uh, devils or demons, um, but they are not themselves demons. I mean, there's a good chance Abigail didn't know that. <laughs> it was like, yeah, this is what she looks like. Uh, you know, I mean, whatever. Abby's a nerd like us. She, she's into nerd shit, right? Um, there's a good chance you know she knows D and D. What D and D is? I was completely I so I, like again I was expecting her to be Zariel. Um, so I thought she was gonna be connected to Carlax Quest. 
But instead, she is connected to Shadowheart's quest. Sh what, what, Shadowheart, why don't you talk to her? Why don't you guys catch up? I can still scarcely believe it. There we go. You've returned, and the Mother Superior is gone. So much can change so quickly. Indeed. There's much I still can't remember. Can you share anything with me from when we were young? Well, and we wanted to set the world you on had fire. A pet mouse for a while. Oh, it was I against the rules, mouse? of course. You used to hide him under your robes and feed him from your rations. Aww. Do you have a name? <laughs> Nibbles. Nibbles. I suggested Bree, <laughs> but you were having none of it. Uh, she caught you with him. Forced you to get rid of him in uh -huh. front of everyone to make an example. That's terrible. You always loved animals. But you never let yourself get too close after that. I'm sorry. Not the sort of thing you want to hear, I'm sure. Um, I don't suppose there's any pleasant memories you could share. Well, you know that little scar on your elbow? Go on. I was there when you picked that up. It was years ago when we were initiates. Some of the others were intent on tormenting us until you showed them the error of their ways. I think it was six against two, and most of them were bigger than us to boot, but you saw them off, all of them. There were some bruised lips and black eyes in the mess hall that night. And from then on, they left us alone. Or at least, they bothered us less. What about the scar? A collision between your elbow and the teeth of a girl called Budder. <laughs> I'm just like imagining um, Abby in the like, in the like mocap studio, like recording back. her lines and just like going, Bleh! <laughs> In any case, the mother superior soon broke. Because I know they, they, they did mocap for this fact, game. Like all the smiling. all this like voiceover dialogue, like they um they had all the actors like also do mocap, so um that's why all their movements are so realistic. Um so yeah, and like because like I remember she tweeted like a long time ago, it's like, oh, I'm gonna be in a video game and I'm doing mocap stuff. And it's like in hindsight, it's like, yeah, she was talking about this game. So I'm like, again, I'm just, I have that like mental image in my head. She's like, she's reading that line. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Just small things, silly things. The sort you'd scarcely recall, even if your memories were left intact. You had a little hiding place that you went to when you needed to get away. You brought me there sometimes. We'd talk, oh, they did each play, hair. read, do each other's hair. Aww, they were friends. So my hair, that was you? The plait and fringe? Yes, on your instructions, of course. You were very intent on a bold look, I think you said. My hands were cramped by the time I finished, but you were very pleased. Aww. I like the new look as well, though. You always did like a dramatic touch. I mean, you have pretty awesome hair, too. You mentioned that I had a hideout in here somewhere? Where? Hidden, at the back of the storage area. Luckily enough, as quartermaster, I was able to keep it hidden back there. It should be, well, if not how you remember it, exactly as you left it. No, I want to read Nocturne's I journal. I want to read Abigail Thorne's journal. Dear diary. <laughs> Today I won another award for my amazing play. You all should go watch her play, by the way, The Prince. I have a, I have a video about it, um, but you should watch her her actual play first and then go watch my video. Um, but it's, oh, it's so cool that she's in this game. Oh, what what's going on here? The earlier entries of this journal have been erased or heavily redacted before settling into normal rhythm. I am Nocturne. I think as her. I see her when I look in the mirror. I can't remember the last time someone called me by the wrong name. Shadowheart has been swift to gently correct slips of the tongue and even swifter in challenging those who use my forsworn name in malice. I'm lucky to have her as a friend. Oh, Nocturne has a dead name. Oh my God, is Nocturne trans? Oh my God, if that's true, I fucking love it. Oh my God, the forsworn, the forsworn, I mean, if that's not a dead name, I don't know what is. <laughs> Wow, Ugh, that's so cool. Um, they took Shadowheart's memories again more than they took before. But I know what to do now. I know she'll be frightened and that she won't remember much, not even me. I can take her to our hideaway and remind her of herself. I'm getting better at it each time. I love seeing that look in her eyes when she finally remembers me. Why must the Mother Superior do this to her? 
Why must she grind her under heel like she does like to no other? They are grooming her for a mission and will soon take her away her memories again. I need to see her again while she still remembers me. I need to tell her to stay safe and then I'll see her again. It's been days and no word. Shadowheart and the others could be alive or dead. Even the Mother Superior does not seem to know. I'm sick with worry. I can't even bear to write anymore. Oh, her character is trans. <laughs> That's so cool. I, I should start calling my dead name my forsworn name. <laughs> nope. Um, Noctur Nocturne is trans, and you can't convince me otherwise. Abigail Thorne is in this game. I mean, I knew she like I knew she was in the game. Like it's not like it's not like it was a surprise that she was in this game, but. But still, like, you know, when you run into it, and it's like, oh, you know. Uh, and there's a person that you um, have a great deal of uh, admiration and respect for. Is in the video game that you're very much enjoying. You found your, you found your hiding spot, uh, Shadowheart. I guess, I guess we'll probably find out her true name whenever we talk to her parents. That is, that is very much a meeting I have been putting off. <laughs> Because I, man, the, the writers of this game sure love um, making things as fucked up as possible. Maybe, maybe Abigail knows how to get it. I'm, I'm just going to keep calling her by her actual name. What does that mean? Oh, I just used the key. Oh my god. That's all I had to do was just use the key. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Fucking hell. Every time I get stuck in this game, it's because I'm overthinking the problem. It can't be. Another vile trick. No. There is no trick. It's her. Her name is Jennifer. Oh, that's a pretty Jen. name. A little girl. Jan. Moon Maiden's Grace. It is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. I know, Jan. Are you okay? Is not over. Oh. You see, it matters not if you raise this place. If you slay every one of your brothers and sisters. That was never where my power resided. Every time you try to step away from me, every time you try to reach for Selena, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain, but you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. You're a monster, not a goddess. I am Luna. I am nothing. I am the empty room, the dreamless sleep. Uh, that's the very poetic, shadow. but you still suck. There was no pain before my sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer until you find your way back to my embrace. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from him. I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. All right, so... Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. 
There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, d I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. Talk to your mother and father. See what they wish. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't know any of this was happening until it was much too late. I came to try to put things right. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going. That you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was. And still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. This is your choice, Shadowheart. You don't need me to tell you what's right. Is this truly what you want? It is what we need. All of us. You were meant to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jen. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Well, she's kind of wearing a mask. Goodbye. <laughs> Not goodbye. Not even close. Can't we just revivify them after we kill them? <laughs> just video game logic. Um, what a terrible choice to have to make. Now they turn into force ghosts. What are those? Moonlights. They bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. My parents are watching over me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. What about your memories? Isn't there more that was taken from you? More. Most, I should think. I doubt Shah will be given over to generosity. Best if I just consider them lost. I have everything I need to make new memories. As for this place, all I did here, let it stay forgotten. I knew something fucked up was about to happen, but it's a uh, mirror of loss. Okay, I'm gonna save before I click this thing. Because. Because I remember reading in the um, one of the, the lore books that was like, oh, like if, if you look into the mirror, it robs you of your memories or whatever. Uh, actually, there's one memory I'd, I'd like to get rid of. is the memory of, of Carla calling me gross.